What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and we're back in RimWorld, back with Alpha 9. I know I said there'll be an Alpha 11 video out this week, and it hasn't happened. There's been no end of problems with my recording software, and also a fella outside that has been doing something cutting down trees for like the last three days straight. So I apologise if there's still the noise of a chainsaw in the background, I can't do much about it. He doesn't seem inclined to stop anytime soon. <laughs> but yes, we were just dealing with the fridge at the end of the last episode, so... Speed things up a little bit while I have a look here. Temperature is dropping, but not to the point where this stuff is actually frozen. It's just refrigerated, so it looks like we are probably going to need another cooler down here. Now, I am kind of aware that this is a very, very excessive setup that we have in this fridge now. But having started it, I kind of feel like I should finish it. And then... Yes, it'll be a behemoth, a monstrosity, but at least it'll look cool. Uh, so yeah, I do want another one there. It's quite nice that you can place them over the top of walls. And then, I kind of want to think about cut-throughs, and I don't actually want that to be one. Uh, so, structure ore. Let's get some granite. I'm going to block up both of those, and the ones I want to actually be cut-throughs will be one in line here, one in line here, and then I think it makes sense to have in the middle as well. Is that quite in the middle? Maybe there, and we'll cancel this one. And then we can delete that. Oh, damn it. Damn it! Uh, that's going to make this kind of annoying. Let's grab the stock bar settings from there, paste them onto here, and then we'll also delete the corridors that we wanted to keep. Uh, and I have a feeling this is going to do this repeatedly as I delete these bottom blocks. Yep. So let's do the whole lot at once. We've still got the settings saved, so then I can just go back over the top from there to out there. And then uh, if I can't do too much, because as I delete stuff, it's going to behave weird again. So delete zones. Let's get Corridors in here sorted. And this needs the same settings as the other zones. Uh, we can delete that one. And then in here we need to do the same thing. Wow, this is kicking off the episode with some truly exciting content. Uh, this is going to split this off again. Again. Oh no, actually, we don't want them there. Almost made a mistake. Right, that's fine. And then, fine. Oh, and paste the settings on. And finally, one more stockpile to cover this stuff. Oh no! Damn it. Wasn't expecting it to attach on like that. Okay, let's, let's just do this one first. We can. Delete out the corner and the two corridors. Paste in the settings if it let me select it. Thank you. And then let's copy the settings from this one. And put another tiny little stockpile on the corner there. And this will have the same settings as that. Right. Slightly dull, but a start. Next thing I want to do is have a couple of little single piled stockpiles up here. So maybe one there. And one there. And these are going to be the same as these things here. So they're going to be for meals only. And then, actually no, let's not have this one for meals. Let's have this one for, raw, not raw resources, food still. But we want raw food and we're going to have corn kept there. And again, these are critical priority, these two. So what I might want to do actually is reduce these down to just important. And then the rest of this room is what sort of... Oh, that's all on important as well. That's kind of annoying. Okay, preferred. There's any easy way of selecting these things. I don't know it. <laughs> kind of on the corner edge and then you double click and it seems to bring it up. And then... Finally, that one. And then up here, I believe, corn is actually getting stored in this. And this is priority normal. Cool. That's fine. Uh, we should not be having meat stored in here. 
fridge. You always have meat in the other fridge. This stuff, the corn, for example, just spoils in 30 days. It spoils in 2.1 days. Big, big difference to how quickly it spoils. Spoils. So, although saying that, very, very soon we're going to have room for all of the excess stuff from there down here in this area because, of course, this is where we're going to be having most of our extra space all of a sudden. Tribes people are beginning their assault. Hello, friends. Cool, they're close enough that we want to line up immediately. So, grammar ray, cruelty, yep. Get you guys up there. Master Wolf Feather, yeah. Make, oh, we need to rename Maker as well. Almost forgot about that one. Let's just get everyone running over to the correct locations. We'll leave Mako and JP Minor like normal. So, it's just these three. You guys get up there. I notice. Oh, phew. I don't know why these don't have power. Uh, is it because this isn't built? And of course, that's a conduit wall, so without that built, there's no power transferring to these either. Probably. Okay, that's fine. Let me scared for a second. And let's just quickly... I did roll the dice before the episode started and then forgot the second it did. So, let's rename Maker. No, a Mafia Duck. Yes, welcome aboard, sir. Figured I'd use the Mafia Duck rather than your actual name. Don't know why. I just kind of... I kind of like Mafia Duck. <laughs> Right, so people are on the move, they are on the move, we should be in a position to beat them, so now let's go and line up things. LMG. Uh, last time we did have people further back in the room, I don't think it matters this time because they are melee dudes. So let's just get, in fact no, we will have everyone back a row, simply so we can have guys like Fede and Ondra in the front row. And Wolf is another melee as well. Just kind of acting as cover for the rest of our guys. Lemestro, one forward, please. And where's Ondra? Yan. Did we not get Ondra? Is Ondra still chilling out in base? It's not the end of the world. We don't, don't need Ondra. Let's use, let's use the mod. Yes, Ondra is just chilling in base. We've missed Ondra and we've missed Mako. But again, uh, not Mako, Bristow. But again, that doesn't really matter. We should have the firepower to deal with this without too much problem. No, don't, don't arrest anybody. Thank you. Whoa. Let's slow this stuff right down. There we go. Beautiful firing lines. All the turrets are on. Probably want to turn these ones on down here as well, because there is a lot of those guys. Baz Dog in the middle of throwing up while also defending the base. They're right, they've managed to get one turret down. In fact, they're getting multiple. I mean, there is a ton of them. An absolute ton of them, but this does mean that our turret setup is still not as good as it could be. However, these are tribes people, so we 100% want to be doing capturing. So, God, look at all those prisoners. My word. Uh, right, we can fit. These are all going to need to be medical. And very quickly, I'm going to whack down. We got the meds. For, no, we don't have the meds for another hospital bed, so we're going to have to just stick down beds in general. Do have wood, so let's fill out the room for true prisoner quarters. Look at the state of that. And then it is time to be doing some capturing. And these guys, we're going to capture them, give them meds, and then release. It doesn't matter. So we're going to go for capture on everybody. Everybody who's available for capture, at least. And there doesn't seem to be quite a few of them. And then we can always have a look and see whether they're people we want to keep at the same time. More captures. Let's let them go and do that just so we can see who remains. As I said, there is quite a few that need grabbing. So there's still a couple left. Have a go. And Grandma is harvesting a cotton plant. So capture Gruka. Yep. Might be everybody. Let's speed things up a little bit just so I can see what on earth they're doing. Oh, no, not quite. Poor mood. Mafia Duck is. Oh, the new adaptive tutor apparently is wanting me to learn about home regions. Believe it or not, with a colony this size, I have already worked out how to do home regions. Uh, cruelty, we still have... Where was the... There was someone left, but I now... There. Oh no, no enclosed prisoner mocked bed, I see. So we've actually run out of beds now. Let's go and... Well, he's not a constructor. Wolf, can you construct? No. Uh, anyone not carrying someone that can do some construction for me? Oh, Baz Dog. Yeah, Mafia Duck, please. I know you've got, you know you're in a bad mood, but that's because you're the one that's got uh, 
Oh, he's very hungry and urgently tired. Right, ignore me. Consume a fine meal. Go to bed. Let's not piss you off too far. JP Miner is hauling dead people. Um, Fede, no. No one is a constructor in this place. <laughs> I suppose in reality there's not that much construction needed. I know Nurl is, but Nurl's asleep. Bristow? Yeah, I'm going to take you away from your art for two seconds. Look at the state of them all. Right, let's get straight in there. Get medicine. Friendly chat. What sort of person are you? You are a teetotal, careful shooting, prostophile. Not bad. Not bad. Possibilities here. Missing a leg, but we can sort that. That's not a problem. Uh, I assume cracks repair themselves. That doesn't seem like something that would last the whole time, so... Very, very high recruitment difficulty is the only thing. We are looking at 99. So for the time being, let's just med and... In fact, let's put trying to recruit on. We might end up releasing anyway, but let's put trying to recruit on. Uh, right, next one. Medicine, friendly chat. What sort of person are you? You are abrasive, heat tolerant, careful shooter. Not keen with abrasive people, so we will leave you like that. We're going to just release Beaver. Barger, medicine, friendly chat. And pessimist, careful shooter, steadfast. That's a bit odd. Mental break has threshold minus five. Oh, and that's permanent mood. I thought it was both mental break thresholds. So he's permanent mood effect and he's incapable of social, which means that it's going to be very hard to raise that mood. So let's ignore that as well. Again, medicine, friendly chat. Slightly easier to recruit this one. A nervous brawler. Not really. I mean, melee hit chance quite cool, but again, not bothered. Another one for release, I think. Too smart teetotaler. Too smart's the learning speed. So again, not too interesting. Uh, everyone's missing like legs and stuff, apparently. Person is absolutely shot to hell. There should be. We've got one more enclosed prisoner mark bed. So what's happened to? Oh, that grammar is still holding someone. Okay. So yes, we could still do with more beds down there for when this happens. Kruchar. So person are you? Psychically dull, pessimist, slowpoke? Not really very interesting, but again, we are just going to medicine, friendly chat, get these guys in a position where they're ready to be recruited, uh, ready to be released, and then do so. Andra's still on doctoring, which is kind of appropriate, even though she's barely any better than Grammar, eh? So we will leave that as it is, because there's going to be a lot of doctoring that needs doing at this point. Uh, saying that, Andra's on... Art is the other th is actually a higher priority, so we probably want to drop that up to three for a second. Uh, we do still have capture lab. Yeah, we just need those prisoner beds done, which means I need to find someone. Oh, hang on, reserved by Bristow. Okay, he's reserved all of them somehow. That's fine. Oh, I see. So you, you're actually going to deliver the materials for all of them and yeah. finish one of them at the same time. Spot on. So this is medical, and then anybody. Okay, might as well be Bristow again. Please go and capture Lavago before Lavago dies. And we'll just have a quick look, check we haven't missed anything else. In which case, then it is time to deal with all. In fact, let's not. This, these are tribesmen, they've got nothing we want to take off them. So this is a perfect time for us to make use of this crematorium. Which should have... That's right, what we're going to do is we're going to have a cremate corpse bill, which is on do forever, that we suspend when we're not using it. Anything I've missed? Not really. Next thing we're going to need to worry about very, very quickly is getting our turrets back up. And this time, we're not going to build them out of steel! Because we keep forgetting. We're also not going to build mortars. That's not what I wanted at all. We're going to build turrets. Yeah, we look how many we lost. I mean, there was, there was a lot of them, but that is a lot of lost turrets at the same time. There's a lot of material to replace them too. And then we're going to need power conduits running down the back. I think it was to about there in order to get proper range. Not ideal. Not ideal by any means. I think we could probably do better than that in future. Cool. Last person coming down here. Lots of medical treatment obviously needed, but we should have the meds for it. 
And there we go, last person. Prisoner, medicine, friendly chat, and what do you look like? Iron-willed nudist. Well, nudist doesn't bother anyone else. So, Lavago is a possibility. 66 recruitment as well. Character, good at shooting, not great at anything else, but... Yeah. No, not release. Recruit. Our word, yes. That word, no. Cool. Righty then, and they're all actually going in here to eat, which is appropriate. I wonder how the colony mood is looking. It's been a little while since we've had a look in here and seen sort of... Eh, it's just sort of floating around that area and we don't seem to be able to get it much above 50% just because I think they've all got that new colony optimism now that's making it more difficult. High expectations, witnessed stranger's death. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. And then we've got a few guys apparently up here that still need stripping and burning and I don't know where they came from. Must have been left over from the last raid. It's just surprising that they're still kicking around. <clears throat> so, Mr. Bazdog, can you come and do some stripping for me? Let's also speed things up a bit. No reason not to. The other thing is we shouldn't need to trigger anything on this crematorium because this one currently... Toggle it off, in fact. This one is currently not needed. We're doing tribesmen right now. Um, where are you going with that? Don't take it there. We're just going to burn it anyway. See, look, efficient way of burning tribesmen. <laughs> I am so looking to forward to Alpha 11 and actually not having to worry about stripping everybody each time. That is probably the nicest feature. That and the clothing sorting out for you. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to get more and more annoying the more people you have. You just get more and more stuff that's getting busted all the time. More and more times where you have to do gear checks to find things like this. Speaking of which, actually, let's give you something better. Yeah, normal armor vest, that looks good. Lots of burning going on, another meal that we've missed somehow. And how are we doing? This is mostly repairing. Really need, I mean, we've got plenty of constructors, although saying that, they've got mining as a higher priority. But there are definitely plenty of constructors about, so... Yeah, hurry up and get on the job. I have a suspicion that stuff like repairing does get done first. And of course, there's masses of hauling to be done. Uh, how are our plastic supplies? Thinking about it, 255. So we don't actually have that much. Certainly not enough for that many turrets. So it's time to go and get this stuff over here. I've kind of been ignoring it until such a point where it was going to be useful. There's more. Yep, more down there too. Lovely. Does mean going outside the base for a bit, which is always a little bit ropey, but hey. We'll be fine. It's the other thing I like in uh, Alpha 11, because I've been playing it a little bit, just trying to get my recording software to play ball, and yes, the ability to remove floors again, so you don't end up with this sort of strangeness. Look at that, look at it, it's horrible. <laughs> Can't help myself, sorry guys. It's just, just how it goes. Lots of trees coming up in here as well now. Are we, are we starting any of these plasteel turrets? Because I really... We also forgot to turn the blooming power off again, didn't we? But I really don't want there to be, like, another big attack when half of our turrets are out. Cool. Okay. Yes. Yes, we have now started the sum of the turrets. Good. Good. And also, plasteel mining has begun as well. Spot on. Learn home region. Yep. Yeah. I suppose I should get rid of that. Right. What it wants me to do is go in here and, like, change the home region in some way. There you go, there's a bit up there, and apparently we've missed bits in here anyway, so it's about time I did a bit of a check. Anything else? Yeah, our fridge isn't covered. <clears throat> Sorry. That's terrible. Right, I've, I've done loads... Yes, good, it's gone away. I've done loads of home region stuff, leave me be. <laughs> and, of course, there is, as with every time we lose a whole bunch of turrets, a whole bunch of hauling to be done. I'm also, I'm inclined to make this access corridor even longer so we can pull these walls back further. Let's see what we can do about bringing this right the way up to parallel to this path. Kind of annoys me we've got this stuff in here as well, but and it's also it's been loaded by with materials already too. Let's um open that up. See if we can get in there to get rid of or get the materials out of there again. Look, there's a whole bunch of granite blocks. 
almost burnt everyone, which is not bad going given... Oh, actually, no, I say that. There's a whole bunch of them up here. Let's have this on do forever and we'll just suspend it when needed as well. And then we can have two lots of cremating going on at the same time. Someone else has jumped straight on that. Quality. Quickly as possible, clear back up again. Lots of repairing to be done. Right, ship. I'm kind of leaving as it is. It's been sitting around there at the bottom. Oh, look, we're finally clearing out some of our um, dumping piles as well, having everybody on the crafting all the time. That is good news. Hopefully these are making the cooks a little bit more efficient as well. As you can see, they don't spoil very quickly. So as long as there's a nice throughput through here, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, look how much faster and how much more efficient that can be when they don't have to drop them down here. I might... Of course, one pile's not enough for meals, really, is it? The reason they're not dropping them there now is because that's full. This is the max max those spots can take. The corn being there gives them really fast route up to... I mean, it's annoying that Mako's using it, actually. For the simple meals. Yeah, that was the idea, is Lamestra could use it for the fine ones to mean that she doesn't have to do two trips down. The haulers take care of that. Looks okay. I could play with the rangers a little bit as well, but for the time being, I don't, I'm not too bothered by that. Lots of plasteel. Lovely. Might as well collect it while we can. Might come in handy later if we're going to end up having to rebuild this turret, these turrets that often. Ah, the background noise today. Now cars going by and everything. Apologies, guys. I'll try my best to work on the audio quality and then... The world outside gets in the way. Right, this has all got to minus five now, even though we haven't actually turned this cooler down. Just just its presence is helping, apparently. Cool. Nice, cool refrigerator. Right, and that means that we want to expand the floor. Kind of need to get rid of these bits in the middle now as well. And that has got floor. Yeah, yeah, it's just a trick of the colour. And we probably want to... All right, let's clean that up a bit. Should be all right. And then, yeah, these these should be fine to get rid of now. We have to keep an eye whether or not that opens up the roof again, and we'll have to put a no roof region and all that's rubbish too. But for the time being, that looks all right. And then floors, I mean, I might as well. We're going to put more down over here once that room's opened up. But the idea is you want getting in and out of these doors nice and quickly as well. And then once this has all been laid down, I'll worry about getting the stockpile sorted out. Um, hang on. I've managed to forget to... Oh, well, actually, it doesn't matter because fortunately they're both on the end corners, so I can get away with just deleting those two like that. And then as soon as we start laying the stockpiles down in the bottom, things are going to get a lot better. So... And copy these settings and then essentially repeat the same sort of design layout again. And while this seems massively overkill, the chances are this is going to end up becoming our like global storage area. And I'll get rid of what we've got up top completely as a storage zone. The fact that we've got this wall arranged like it is does slightly change how this layout should be. Doors up here, of course, are on the long side, so might have to fiddle that one there. But uh, at least these things are easier to put down when you know what you're doing in advance, because it's very easy now to go through and just paste. Ah, oh, yes. I say very easy, except, of course, selecting stockpiles underneath blueprints and things like that. Not so much. Come on. Let me close it. Thank you. It's a dumping stockpile. Oh, yeah, of course, we've still got a dumping stockpile down here. Get rid of that. Don't want that down here. Which means there's a tiny little zone up there that's completely incorrect. Yep. And this one, we'll leave that off for the time being. This one, let's paste some settings in. And this one, let's paste some settings in. Just at least for the time being to get them working in there. And then I can go through and delete some corridors. That needs to be too wide. Too wide. So another one there. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> uh, right, in, two, and... I feel like I should cut that. 
off completely there and have a separate... No, it's deleted the one I didn't want it to. Oh well. In fact, that's, that's not a good size either, is it? No, it is not, so we should... Oh. Playing with stockpiles when there's stuff over the top of them is not friendly. Cool, right, let's connect it onto there and then the idea will be... Of course it was gonna, of course it will delete the big bit. All right, fine, whatever. Paste, paste, that'll stay as it is, that's fine. And then all we need to do is get the delete zones and delete that row there. And even then it doesn't fit properly, does it? Oh well. That'd be like a funny row that they can't get at, essentially. Or, there you go, yep. My OCD is ever so slightly happier with that than it is with anything else. <laughs> Bulk goods trader. I mean, we might as well see if they've got anything. Oh, there's also, um, we, we're all there. we've got arms and legs to give out. Forgotten about that, we were partway through things. JP Miner should be like new, advanced JP Miner 2.0. Right, so even, all, even though they're all getting medical treatment, they've pretty much all died. Can we just not look after that many people? Is that the problem? We are incapable. I, I assume that must be it, because, yeah, it wasn't like I delayed in looking after those ones this time. I went straight down there to try and get stuff done, and it did not work out. Right, let's turn Ondra off doctoring again. Maybe I just need better doctors, you know? When you're trying to deal with that many patients all at once. Possible. Possible. They do mine nice and fast these days. That is one very, very nice thing that we got. Combat supplier and, of course, that bulk goods trader we still haven't spoken to. So, Mr. Minor, holding hops. No, you're in the stockpile. You don't need to go any further. Uh, let's go with the bulk goods trader first because they're going to leave before the other one. Now, this, of course, is primarily going to be stuff like corn that we want to keep. Just on the off chance. Nope. No, nope, we don't want to get anything rid of anything, I don't think. We're fine. And then, no. Nope. Don't go anywhere, JP Miner. Another shot. Yes, this is where we do want to get rid of stuff, because we've got things like stuff that's in bad nick that we want to get rid of. Also, let's start ditching shoddy and awful stuff, too. We're getting so much normal and good. Let, let's let's ditch it. Uh, yes, 37%. Yes, yes, yes. Poor, poor. Uh, more charge rifles. Not really needed. EMP grenades. Not a chance. Yes, bows. Get rid of all this rubbish. The amount of time possible to spend. Right, this is a good LMG. I hope they finally hauled that out of being outside after ruining the damn thing. Uh, poor, no. Superior sniper rifles, nice. Let's get rid of the normal ones as well then, because I'm not going to need lots of sniper rifles, just on the off chance. Get rid of all the clubs. Almost not working, worth picking up, but yeah, occasionally you get stuff like this as well, which then actually are worth something. Cool, and then the obligatory check whether they've got anything I'm interested in, which I don't think they have. Nope. Cool, more stuff ditched. Now you see there's still a PDWC now here. They have done the LMG, but the PDW is still, still kicking around for no reason. Uh, okay, we've also got some, but not all of the turrets done. Come on guys, hurry it up. It's probably because I'm distracting them by giving them mining tasks indoors. <laughs> yes, because of course Nerl and Benefactorist are also our constructors. Am I doing floors? More wood down here, please. Let's finish off the last of it. Yeah, and people are doing things in funny orders. I don't 100% understand why they do that. Just Surely you would follow the construction in the order that it was given to you, rather than anything else. Okay, in here still counts as indoors, nothing messed up there. In here is still outroot, so we're still venting nicely outside. Perfect. Travellers, yes, 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 come on. Get the repairing done. Get, get everything done. Still plasteel mining going on. I mean, we've probably got... How are we doing? Oh, no, we haven't got... We have not got enough. And plasteel mining does take a little while. It is tough, as you'd probably expect. 
There were some thoughts of clearing out. Oh, look at this. This is a bit of a mess down here as well, isn't it? Dead people and stuff desiccating. There's a possibility of clearing this out a bit, just making it a bit more free for us to run through when we need to get in and out of the base. I'm inclined to have another setup of turrets behind this one as well. Although it's may maybe if we move this forward, it'll be a little bit more sound. We can have another set in the middle here, perhaps. Did they also... No, I thought they killed the other orbital trade beacon for a second there, but no, we're good, we're good. Ah! Set fire to in here. I also think it might be time to do, given we're out of wood, it might be time to do a little bit more wood chopping, given that down here, look at all this lot. Clear the base out, guys. Get rid of all these trees. Oh, I'm complaining. It's quite nice to have a selection of trees nearby, but yep. Right, corpses are all cremated, so uh, to avoid future accidents, let's go and pop both the crematorium suspended for the time being. Uh, right, that must be connected to the solar generator next to it, which is, I suppose, fine. What we might also do when we next get a a quiet moment with people asleep is do a bit of clearing out inside the base of any critters we've got kicking around. Now, just in case they start causing problems. So, what did I just do? I forbid people from using the turret, which is interesting because they're not going to be using the turret anyway. Cool, and I suppose just about use this one for the tortoise as, tortoise as well. Uh, no. No! Every blooming time. What did happen? Alcohol. Gunshot to the spine. Oh, damn it. You know that that is going to be a permanent injury. Blatantly. That's going to be one that, while she'll recover from it, he'll recover from it. Sorry, Nell. <laughs> Back into old habits, uh, we won't actually do particularly well. We'll get, we'll get the permanent negative effect, I suspect. From this, you get old gunshot wound, spine, and manipulation and stuff will go down. I've kept you guys alive, but I, you have been beaten up a fair bit with me. Uh, that is for sure. Right, what have we got? Cargo pods. I haven't had any cargo pods for a while. With meals in them. Really? And they're miles away. Is this the old can we tempt wasted out of his base trick? No. No, you can't. I'm staying where I am. Got plasteel to mine. I'm happy. Plasteel to mine. A fridge to design. I mean, come on. Not sure what we're going to do about these desiccated squirrels that are kicking around in the fridge, mind you. But we can worry about that as we go. For now, at least, there's certainly plenty of room for food. There should be no reason at all for stuff to be up in here anymore. Like the corn and the, the potatoes. Look at this. Right. Storage. Food. Not a chance. Get them out of there. I was about to say, solar flare shouldn't be... Uh, sorry, an eclipse shouldn't be doing it, but we've got an eclipse and a solar flare together. Which means that regardless of the fact that we've got batteries, we're going to lose power. This is, this is why solar flares are probably the most dangerous of all the things in RimWorld, is because that's your whole turret network down. There's nothing you can do at this point to get it back up again. You've just got to wait for the solar flare to finish, and if they choose to attack at this point, you're defending just be colonists, and you can be sure that that goes dramatically differently to any other time. <laughs> this looks a bit... Oh, yes, that's because that's the stockpile we didn't really build properly, isn't it? So, zone, stockpile gets you out to your correct size and then at the same time delete the required bits as well so there there it's in line nicely with the top as well lovely that sort of thing makes me happy and then we'll also put in one in the center too this should only need that down the middle and of course some settings nice Happy with that when that's all done. 
Not the only little bit of inefficiencies down here. Of course, the fridge is also off right now. Staying nice and cool, but it is also off. Exotic goods trader. It's time for a statue check. Any statue? No statue. We've kept them too distracted of late. That does make some sense. Uh, how is Bristow doing with his statue? He is miles away. And Andra hasn't even started yet. It's a bit odd, odd actually. I would have expected Andra to have at least started by this point. Odd. What we can do... Yeah, odd. Very high on art. 18. Bristow's actually got to 20 of 20 now. Nice. Um, why hasn't Andra? Andra was busy hauling. Why are you hauling instead of doing art, Andra? Yeah, I, I, I don't get it. I really would have expected Andra to be worrying about... Are we asking her to do it out of a material we don't have? Limestone blocks. Possibly we don't have enough limestone. Uh, right, we'll keep the granite like usual. We're building up huge volumes of that. Let's turn everything else on as an option. Yeah. Could even consider doing some uranium statues, but uh, not for the time being. And then our stonecutter's table. You are cutting any type of stone, I assume. You've just got more granite than anything else. Limestone, granite. Let's have sandstone on there. In fact, let's just have all of them. Whatever. Just do it. I know I turned those off a couple of episodes ago to try and make them more efficient, but it's fine. It's fine. I also want more stone. <laughs> trade ship. It's just covering us with trade ships that arguably we don't need. Uh, right. This was, this was actually the prisoner we were trying to recruit as well. This was our teetotaling prostophile with 99 recruit difficulty that we may or may not still release. Interesting. Our artillery shells. I should be using this inventory screen. It's quite handy. Yes, artillery shells are not back up to full stocks yet. We need to keep an eye on things. It's a very nice little extra screen. And that's again from the EDB interface mod. Gives you stuff that you would not normally have, but just stuff that kind of makes... I don't know, it's quality of life improvements rather than like big game-changing stuff. This is kind of slow for them to move around in as well, but it's a dumping stockpile. What do you expect? <laughs> Andra is still not going and doing any art. Oh, she's asleep now. But yeah, this still hasn't... I, I can only assume we just don't have enough of the other types of block. And so they won't start until we do. Bit like with the tailoring, where like didn't have required skill to use the materials that we had, so didn't do anything at all. Okay, beds are all made up in there. I quite like this layout now. Got extra bedrooms for people if we need them. Yes, failing to recruit over and over again it is likely what's going to happen now. Uh, what I think I'll do now is structure granite wall, and we're going to wall off across there. And in fact, let's put a Granite there, there, and then there's such a, thing. a granite auto door. Roger. I don't understand how that works really, but fine. And also fill in that block there, and that gives us another big chunk of area down here that we can put more bedrooms in or something like that. Should also mean then that we can get rid of this wall and door here, open this internal because it'll now will be a nice internal area, whereas at the moment you can see it's unroofed. Potentially. Because it's got a no, no, it has no, no, no roof region on it. So that just needs walling off, and then that will roof itself up. It's only because it's connected to this outside bit. Stuff's getting clean and tidy. We sh there's no way we're out of wood, so that's just delayed construction. Our turrets are all done by what? But one. Travelers from Piso Pico, Roger. Plenty of plastic kicking around up here, which is nice. Not that much. None in stock, in fact, at the moment, because the haulers haven't got around to doing that quite yet. But that's because there's other things in base that needed hauling around, which is fine. Look at all this rubbish. There's also a lot of space down here, guys. You should uh, consider making use of it. Lots of chunks up here that could go down there. Yes. What is... Right, and let's get them to haul off this slag that's appeared from nowhere. Uh, is that turret going to have power? That's another good thing to check. Yeah. Good. Make 
sure we haven't made any mistakes with that, because the first time we'd find out about it otherwise is when we're under attack, which is never quite right. Not a good time for it. There's more stuff kicking around down here. I assume probably left over... I mean, this is all left over from when we lost those solar panels. This stuff may well be... Ooh, hello. Wild boar. Where are you? Outside fighting a tortoise, by the looks of things. Anyone outside at the moment? Benefactorist. Benefactorist can handle himself against the wild boar, I'm sure. And the wild boar is going for the knurl anyway. Roger. This is quite, quite, almost quite nice, having that single turret that's on all the time. It's, at least here, if that wild boar does decide. This one. Oh, it's going for Fede now. Okay. Does decide to come wandering in and I don't notice that they're close. These two turrets should have you know, not complete coverage of the base, but some. And I think I might put... I think up here might be a good location for more. Another little turret up here somewhere to add extra cover on. Stick that in now. Steel turret. And where... Where's going to give us good sort of coverage? So that's going up to kind of the middle of there. This one, because these won't be on by default. So I want to give them good lines of fire as well. Solar panels kind of getting in the way for that, but that's fine. So maybe actually, maybe we can, don't want to put it directly behind this, but maybe we can like mirror one down here and then Again, up here. No, we don't have enough plastic stored. We've got plenty outside. And that'll just give us a sort of really basic, inside the base, constant coverage. Should be good if things drop in on us or if we get rampages that occur sort of right inside the base and so on. And let's try and continue killing this. Ready to press J anytime one of our suicidal colonists goes anywhere near it. They're being relatively well behaved at the moment. Uh, Colonists need treatment. Oh, the the boar did go for him after all. For God's sake. Uh, right, well, I imagine boars aren't very quick. So, benefactorist, get the hell out of there. And then, show the boar what for. Kite style, come on. Okay, kite style all the way back to base, I see. Bum, 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 bum. Need the Benny Hill theme for this. Run again! I probably shouldn't have made that decision, yeah. He's got more scratches! It's terrible. Uh, right. No, out here. Uh, you. Gonna shoot by default. That's the only problem with this one is when you get this chase sort of scenario. I mean, it's the right one angle-wise. It's the one that's got the least possible chance of hitting Benefactorus by mistake. But it's still far from ideal. So let's hope that Benefactorus gets sufficiently far out of the way that that turret doesn't lose the pop. Right, cool. Uh, nope, you can go off. You um, Yeah, let's use Null to kill the... Oh, no, the boar is apparently dead. It had a very, very brief glimpse of the uh, exclamation mark saying it was unconscious, and then fine. Okay, so not ideal. We ended up with a bit of damage to Benefactorist in the form of some scratches. But that's fine. I mean, that's not a big issue. Was there anyone around? Let's have a quick health check because we're getting near the end of the episode. I, I doubt the storyteller is about to jump anything funny on us. So let's have a quick check. See, we've got eye burn scar. Could sort that out, but we don't have a bionic eye at the moment. We've got an arm and a leg. Torso can't help. Brain, yes, definitely can't help. <laughs> Dentures in the jaw. Excuse me. Storyteller, I said quite clearly, I'm sure that the storyteller is not going to bother me before the end of the episode. This is this is not not bothering me. Thumbs, ears. I assume we can't. There is no ear replacement. I'm pretty certain there isn't. But yeah. no, no. Uh, whoops. So, overview, missing ear, and I think we're back around to the start. Yeah, they, they, it would purely be improving people rather than stuff that's specifically related to uh, injuries they've got or whatever. And these guys are going to want to besiege, and you know what that means. Look, they're all there with shields on, so that means this is going to be a slightly protracted battle. So I think what I'll do is I'll save that for the start of the next episode. We've had a fight this episode already. Our turrets are back up and running, so from that respect, we're fine. Uh, and, of course, as usual, we've we've got our three mortars ready to unleash a rain of fire or whatever we choose 
So today's efforts, what do we do? Look how pretty it is. It's not quite finished, but it's amazing. I love it. The fridge to end all fridges. Um, yeah, it's probably pointless, but having started it, I might as well finish. At least you can be sure, like I said, that with that as the central portion of the colony, if you imagine this all expanding down now, probably leaving this area in here as kind of an outside area that they wander through, deal with any cabin fever problems, and then continuing down here, that's going to be a really efficient place to have it. You know, I approve of that, so that's cool. And then maybe these sort of rooms will actually be dotted around the edge, or maybe I'll try and sort of move the main storage rooms we've got up here somewhere centrally located, like opposite these ones, for example. Don't know. That sort of idea. Or down here. Who knows? So, <clears throat> clear the frog. I think that's about all we got done today. Survived a big attack, rebuilt most of the turrets in plasteel this time, and mined out some plasteel, chopped some wood. Uh, yeah, didn't do a huge amount else because with this many colonies, it's actually starting to get a little, a little slow to get anything specific done. But hey, if you did enjoy the episode, guys, please hit like, please hit share. It really helps me in the channel out. And otherwise, I will catch you next time for a big fight.